All right, I'm gonna do a bit of a tutorial for this puzzle here. Let me just show the inputs before I do anything else. S or down, because assuming you're doing this with W, A, S, and D, it's down or S, then action. Left down action or A, S action then A or left, then action, 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 then AS or, da or left, down, then action, then SD or down, right, then action, and that's how you do it. There's a, this way is a bit, the, the whole point of this way to do the puzzle, it's faster because of the, the AS, which is more like one input as opposed to just, you know, tapping directions like 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 oh i'm just gonna spam like like down 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 you know action and then like so it's kind of just like very little inputs but i'm gonna break this down a little bit so most of this is pretty straightforward like let me just restart this here so this is how the puzzle starts go like this and then you get to this one and there's a bit of freedom you can i like to just tap it three times or you can do a little bit of a sweep because let me break this down so you see key binds you have confirm menu space and f these are the these are the two keys in your hotkeys you got to learn these are super important for discards for anything for anything relating to the menu even for spamming these are the keys you spam to get items the fastest possible so you gotta know these keys by heart. For me, it's just default. For for you, if you have the default keys, it's space and F. So this will be kind of easy to explain to you if you just use default. But um, so yeah, with that in mind, let's go back to the puzzle. And it remembers where you were last in the puzzle, apparently. Like the, the last square. And it has it keeps the rotations not really important but just kind of cool so once again i do either three tap because this is the only one you have to use action more than three times and there's a bit of freedom here and it's just all up to how you want to do it if you think it's the, the one that looks the coolest or the one you think is the easiest i think you know triple or you can do what i like to call the sweep where you do you know left left click f and then space all in kind of like a smooth motion like that so it's like, and F, it's it's click F and space because right like left click is hard coded to be a confirm for menus. Like for example, this, that's confirm, which is kind of the same as just doing like this with the, so it's hard. But if you look in the hotkeys here, it's not even there. It's just space and F. So it's hard coded in here. So you essentially have three inputs to work with here for this so you know once again either do the, the triple tap with just left click or you can do this with space too if you want but i prefer directions with left hand than confirm with right hand like like because it's just like especially like for example like 7 or d's like control layout is q and e as confirm and if you do that then you're going to be it's just nasty you just want to use the mouse because then you have to like somehow like do directional presses with like your middle fit like like try to do this try to do w a s and d and then q and e while also trying to like do like d different directional presses and it's just crazy so i would say ergodynamically it's kind of up to you but for me personally i prefer doing left click for the action it's slash like you know like confirm to rotate the blocks and then to move to the next panel you know i just use w a s and d with my left hand i think you can do this with arrow keys too but man no one uses arrow keys in this <laughs> in this game let's be honest so you know triple the sweep i didn't do that right the sweep or it can do like a double input and then do it a double input is kind of like think about it like you're 
you know, you're doing two inputs at the same time, but the game registers both of them, like, right away. Or maybe there's about a, a frame that separates them. So it's like... Like, so you're pretty much just... So that that's another thing to remember, too, that, that this double input... That's an important fundamental for menuing in this game. So, you know, once again, triple, sweep, wait, whoops, sweep, or double input. I'm not doing it at the right start, so I'm going to just do this again. You start it like this. This is how it starts off normally, This as a T block, and then it goes like this. So it's either triple click, which is what I do, and I think most people do, or it can do the sweep, or it can do double tap, then click. I do double taps with F and space. Double tapping is usually just with your two keyboard confirm keys. You can't, I don't think you can really double tap with the mouse. I mean, you can try, but it's kind of awkward, you know, like, but anyway... With that out of the way, now you just go AS. I didn't do... I didn't rotate the block because I was explaining how to do it. Well, let me just show this off again. And here's how I like, I like to save, like do the save. After I, you know, go up there. Like, let me just show it. You know, once I've come down these stairs, you know, I'm done dealing with these zombies, right? You know, like, I grab the ammo from here already. You grab it. You know, you come down here. This is how I would set up the save. And don't worry about Mr. Rex or anything. Like, this is like a safe room for those that don't know. And how I set up the movement for this, it kind of just went like this. There's a, like, you kind of want... There's, like, little subtle triggers you can do. Like, you... I like to just set up my save so that it's like a straight line as possible. So you just don't even have to... Because then you're just learning janky movement that is kind of just relevant to your practice saves. And it just seems like a waste of time. I When I, pra when I use my practice saves, I just want to go straight forward anyway. So that's just another little thing. But yeah, this is where you would save. You make that save... Try to position yourself going forward so you don't have to practice janky movement. So yeah, just... Oops. I did... I rotated... You can mess up the straight line ones. And you can get away with it because it doesn't do anything. But just be aware that if you do make a mistake like that, it can be really bad if it's not a straight line one. Like if it's one with the... With, you know, the rounded edge ones. It can screw up the puzzle a little bit, and you might have to go back and fix it. But I would take my... Uh, if I were you, I'd, like, take my time learning this puzzle. Do it slowly. Like that. Kind of, I guess. That's about it, I think. I mean, I kind of went over the input thing for a bit too long, but... Yeah, that's the puzzle, I guess. It's, it took me really long. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's the most in-depth you can get with this, I think. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, I guess. <laughs>